What's up everybody, Justin here with my Wrestlemania 36 predictions. It's first time ever, two day Wrestlemania event, two nights, Saturday, Sunday, April 4th, April 5th. We all know why it can't be held with any fans there, it can't be held in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium, which... It would have been uh, so great to see all those fans and just have them going nuts for Drew McIntyre's probably would have been his WrestleMania title win. I did not read WrestleMania spoilers. Don't spoil WrestleMania. Do not leave any spoilers in my comments. If you do, I'll block you from my channel. But it would have probably in the stadium... It would have been Drew's big moment to become the guy, the champion on Raw, the WWE champion. Rhea Ripley's WrestleMania debut. Shayna Baszler's WrestleMania debut. Edge. This is what I am really sad about. Really sad. Edge's WrestleMania return. Spoiled, ruined. Because of the virus. No fans are going to be there to cheer Edge. That really, really sucks. I love Edge. Big Edge fan. And the guy's going to get no reaction. Nobody is. For their WrestleMania matches. Or WrestleMania debuts. Or in Edge's case, it would have been his uh, WrestleMania return. After eight, nine years away. Thing is, uh, last WrestleMania was 27. That's nine years ago. So, anyways, yes, I know WrestleMania was taped. I don't care. I'm still doing a predictions because it's still WrestleMania. It's still got a really good card. A lot of matches they have built up really good. With or without fans, they built up Edge, Randy Orton, good, really great. They built up Drew Brock, really good. And they built up Rhea Ripley, Charlotte, really good without fans. I was really excited for those uh, three matches before I knew that there were going to be no fans. I'm still excited for them. And uh, no shit, yes I do know, Wrestlemania was taped and there's no fans. Doesn't matter, I'm a WWE fan for life, I'm still going to support the talent and watch. Plus, uh, why wouldn't I watch? I pay for the network, I'm going to watch it, it's a two day event. And uh, Vince McMahon for not postponing it. I, I'm not going to say it's the wrong decision. Because we don't know how long this uh, virus is going to be around. Who the hell knows? I've heard doctors say it might go away in the summer. And then it'll come back in the fall. That's what I heard. So anyways, how uh, Vince McMahon is stubborn, he's a stubborn man, no matter what he's going to put on WrestleMania, and I'm glad he is because then I got something to watch this weekend for two nights, I can enjoy myself and forget about the real world problems, and just forget about being staying at home every day and just I can enjoy myself with uh, over three hours of WrestleMania for two days. So uh, thank you, Vince, for that. Because there's nothing else going on. No live sports, no live entertainment, nothing. So I'm very happy WrestleMania is still happening this weekend. So up first, let's uh, predict. 
Otis Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, of course, with uh, Mandy Rose. I guess I heard Mandy's really dating Dolph. Well, that shows you right there she is truly a dumb blonde. If she's uh, into Dolph and his uh, weird, stupid uh, political views. But whatever. I, I don't hate Dolph. Even if he's stupid outside the ring, I still don't hate the guy. But I love Otis. Otis is fucking great. Otis is entertaining as hell. The guy has so much damn charisma. So 16 matches have been booked for WrestleMania for two days. 16 fucking matches. That's a lot of damn wrestling. And we're not going to get much uh, glitz and glamour of a WrestleMania spectacular. No celebrities. I doubt any, I really doubt any musical performances to the ring. So this WrestleMania is probably going to be focused mostly on the wrestling. We're going to see some really good pro wrestling and we're going to be entertained by a Firefly Funhouse match and we're going to be entertained by a Boneyard match. The rest of the show basically is going to be a ton of wrestling and not much sports entertainment. So 16 matches, I don't have a clue if they're really going to do that many. Maybe they'll edit one or two out. I don't know. Maybe some of the talents won't be involved. I don't know. I will talk about uh, some of the talents that have been taken off the card because they're injured or they got sick. Because that was all over the news, all over the internet. So, Otis, Dolph, I would hope Otis wins. He better fucking win. He should. And then after it, he should kiss uh, Mandy and put his tongue down her throat. And now force her to kiss him. Or maybe she'll like it. I don't know. So, uh, D Otis wins over Dolph. Maybe Sonya Deville will get involved and help Otis. I don't know, and maybe Mandy will be pissed off at Sonya, and they'll break up, and they'll feud into the summer. I don't know. Up next, for the women's tag team titles, I'm going to predict uh, Kabuki Warriors, Asuka Kairi Sane defend against Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss for the women's tag team titles. I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, it's a rumor. I hope it's not a spoiler, but I heard Asuka was out of WrestleMania. I don't, I don't know if she didn't feel well or was sick or what. But I heard that rumor, I hope it's not true. I hope Asuka appears and can wrestle at WrestleMania 36. If she could not appear... Because she's sick or didn't want to compete, that's okay too. I just want Asuka safe because she is my favorite and she is a goal. So uh, if if the women's tag titles happens, if Kyrie is uh, forced to defend them alone, I still say the Kabuki Warriors, with or without someone, the Kabuki Warriors win and retain. I don't need to see uh, I don't need to see not Asuka. I don't need to see Alexa and Nikki with the tag titles again. They already had them. So uh, next, uh, Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn defends against Daniel Bryan with Drew Gulak and Sami's with uh, Cesaro and Nakamura. I'm gonna say. Sami Zayn wins and retains. I'm going to have a lot of the champions. A lot of them, I believe, should all retain. With Without fans, the first ever ghosted WrestleMania. WrestleMania was ghosted by the coronavirus. It's not all funny, but the name Ghosted Mania, I think it's funny. 
because it's the first WrestleMania without fans, so WrestleMania was ghosted. Don't know what a ghosted means. Uh, look it up online. Maybe you know, have a laugh about it. So again, all the champions I think should retain because there's no fans there to pop or react to new champions winning or retaining. So Sammy retains, Kabuki Warriors retain. Up next, Edge, Randy Orton, last man standing. This match doesn't really need fans. I wish it had fans to cheer Edge coming to the ring. But the promos have been so good. Last man standing, they could fight outside the PC. They could destroy the PC. I hope they do go outside. That would be awesome. So they can do a lot. Last man standing. They're going to do a lot. Hopefully it's really entertaining. Uh, Edge, Randy Orton. I got Edge winning. Watch uh, WWE try to shot, swerve us and have Randy Orton win. He shouldn't. Especially after what he did to Edge. Up next, Elias, King Corbin. I don't care about the match. I hope it's on the kickoff. I'm going to say Elias wins. Up next, Alistair Black, Bobby Lashley. Alistair Black, I would think, would have to win. The guy's getting a big push as a babyface. I think Alistair really has uh, Paul Heyman behind him to give him a good push. I think I read that or I heard that Paul Heyman really likes uh, Alistair and wants to push him. But Paul Heyman really liked uh, Cedric, Alexander, and Ricochet and look what's happened to them. Stupid Vince has not let them get pushed. He's buried them. So, uh, and Ricochet, man, Ricochet is a, and Cedric, they are super talented. They don't deserve to be booked and pushed like jobbers or mid-carters. They're better than that. So, Alistair wins over Bobby Lashley, I would hope. Uh, Bobby Lashley, by the way, it says with Lana. I don't know if she'll be there, but maybe she will be. For the Raw Tag Team title, Street Profits defend against Angel Garza, Zelina Vega's team, Angel Garza. And it's supposed to be Adrande. He's out, messed up, injured ribs. So taking Adrande's place was Austin Theory. He debuted on Raw last night. Austin Theory, Angel Garza get a Raw Tag Team title shot against the Street Profits. Again, I got the champions. The Street Profits win and retain. All the champions should retain. I really believe that because there's no fans. So, uh, hopefully by SummerSlam there can be fans again. Maybe put SummerSlam in a small arena, like 10,000 or maybe less. I don't know. Whatever they're allowed to. I think a lot, a lot of big matches, a lot of WrestleMania rematches and title changes, I think, should happen at SummerSlam. Make it like a WrestleMania for the summer. SummerSlam. So, uh, Street Profits retain. SmackDown Tag Team Titles Triple Threat Ladder Match. I think it's going to be a singles uh, triple threat ladder match. I, I don't know. The Miz is out. So sorry for the spoiler, but The Miz is out. He did not compete at WrestleMania. He was sick. I don't know why he appeared backstage. If he was sick, why did he show up? WWE doctors, you're stupid for letting Miz in the building. If he was sick, should you should have sent him home, but he was backstage. And uh, supposedly rumors, 
I wasn't there. I don't know if it's true, but the Usos got really pissed off that the Miz was there sick and showed up sick. And then Roman got pissed off. Again, these are rumors. I don't know. But Roman got pissed off because his cousins, the Usos, were pissed off about the Miz being sick. And then Roman decided to not uh, wrestle Goldberg. I doubt that's true. I think Roman made the decision by himself, not because the Miz was sick. But maybe that had part to, maybe that had something to do with it. Again, I don't know. And Dave Melzer, you don't know either. You weren't backstage. But uh, Miz is out. I think they're going to explain on SmackDown the Miz is out. So it might be uh, John Morrison against just Kofi and then one of the New Day in a triple threat ladder match for the tag titles. I don't know, but I got... Then we have uh, John Morrison retaining. If there is one title change on WrestleMania 36, I will say it will be a tag title change, but that's the only title I believe that will change hands. One of the tag titles, but me personally, I predict no new champions. So I got Morrison retaining and him and them is still the tag champs on SmackDown. Up next, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins. I got Kevin Owens. Uh, Undertaker, AJ Styles, Bear, I almost said buried alive. Feels like a Barry Alive, but it's a Boneyard match. Probably in a Hollywood lot, made up graveyard on a Hollywood set. I don't know where they filmed it, but it was, I believe, on a Hollywood set in some warehouse or something, or studio. So they could do a lot of special effects, maybe CGI, maybe... Holograms of Paul Bearer, holograms of a young Undertaker or something. I don't know. It could be really entertaining. I'm looking forward to the Boneyard match to see what the hell they do and what they come up with. So Undertaker AJ Styles, I believe, will get the American Badass to just come on street gear to fight. I got The Undertaker winning. It's a boneyard match. I don't think Undertaker should lose. Or will. Up next, a SmackDown uh, Fatal 5-Way. For the SmackDown Women's Title, Bailey defends against Lacey Evans. Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Tamina. Why the fuck's Tamina in the match? I don't know. I guess... Because they had no other women on SmackDown. I guess Carmella didn't want to wrestle or travel. I don't know. But hopefully Tamina takes a pin. It's an elimination match. So hopefully Tamina gets eliminated first. And uh, Bailey wins and retains. She should. She should not lose her title in front of no fans. No, again, no new champions. I predict no new champions should be crowned. John Cena versus The Fiend. Firefly Funhouse match. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to seeing it. I got, I got The Fiend winning. Because we all know he lost at WrestleMania 30. And my God, if... I love John Cena. The guy follows me on Twitter, but John, you better put over uh, the Fiend. Do the right thing. Put him over. A match for the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch defends against Shayna Baszler again. This is Shayna's WrestleMania debut in front of no fans. She might win the title. I won't give her the title. Again, I would have every champion retain. Becky Lynch wins and retains. It's a real shame. Real damn shame. That Drew Brock, Randy Edge, Shayna, Becky, Goldberg, Roman, 
it's a damn shame it's not happening in front of no fans. Up next, Goldberg defends the Universal Championship against not Roman Reigns. He has been taken out. He took himself out of WrestleMania for health concerns. Good for him. His health and his uh, family's health. The guy has kids. The guy's a family. Roman's health is way more important than wrestling at a show in front of no fans. His health is more important. The guy just beat leukemia. So I don't think uh, after WrestleMania, until this virus is under control, and I don't think Roman should wrestle again and risk his health until the virus is gone or there's a vaccine for it or maybe pills for it. But I don't think Roman should wrestle and risk it, risk his health until 2021, in my opinion. He shouldn't risk it. So, uh, Goldberg and spoiler alert, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, Goldberg, it might be really sloppy, it might be a lot of botches, but they can edit a lot of it to make it look good. So it probably won't be that bad because it was taped. And they could edit it and take out the botches. Or make it look better. But <laughs> when they did it live, when they taped it, there were probably a lot of botches. There's no way in hell. If Goldberg uh, picks up Braun in a jackhammer, I'll be shocked if he gets them all the way up. He shouldn't even try it because they would just drop Braun on his head. So Goldberg wins and retains, I believe. If uh, Braun actually wins, I'll be pissed. Because he's not a main eventer. Why should he defeat Goldberg? Uh, to me, it wouldn't make sense. Braun is just Roman's replacement. He should lose. And I hope they do do a rematch later in the future between Goldberg and Roman because I kind of want to see that. Up next for the NXT first ever NXT title match at a WrestleMania. Sadly in front of no fans for Ghosted Mania but it's still cool. Uh, NXT titles defended. NXT Women's Championship defended at a WrestleMania. NXT Women's Championship, Rhea Ripley defends against Charlotte Flair. Rhea Ripley wins and retains. WWE Championship, Brock Lesnar defends against Drew McIntyre. If it was in front of fans, I would pick Drew, but it's not. So I'm going to say Brock wins and retains. Give the title to Drew. Only when fans are allowed back at the shows. Put on a pay-per-view. Put on a SummerSlam or Survivor Series. Or but after SummerSlam. I don't know when fans are going to be allowed back. Nobody knows when this is going to go away. Or get in control. But uh, I would give Drew the title when... Only when... Fans are allowed back into the arenas because there will be a huge, huge reaction and a great moment for Drew to win the title in front of fans. But Brock Lesnar in front of Ghosted Mania, MTPC, I got Brock winning and retaining. I'm excited to watch uh, the two days of WrestleMania. Of course, it it would have been better, of course. With fans, it would have been way, way, way better. Pro wrestling is... I mean, the fans are just the life, blood, the heartbeat of uh, wrestling. The fan reactions. Not the stupid chants they come up with, but... I'm talking about the stupid chants, like CM Punk, what, and we are awesome. Those are stupid chants that the fans just try to get themselves over. 
But I'm talking about the other chance, the fans' reactions. The fans' reactions uh, made WrestleMania what it is. Made it just a global phenomenon. Spectacular event to see and be at. So this is definitely, uh, hopefully, once in a lifetime event. WrestleMania with no fans. Hopefully, once, one year only. Hopefully, for only WrestleMania 36, we have to go through this. And again, I gotta say it, this uh, virus could have been caught, nipped in the ass. Before it got to America. It could, it could have been caught. could have been controlled. But no. It wasn't because I blame Trump. And his administration. They dropped the ball. They failed everybody. They failed the American people. They failed the country. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people are going to die. Because Trump ignored the virus. Ignored the problem. In January. In December. He was told about it. He decided to ignore it. And everybody that works for him decided to ignore it. They should all lose their jobs in my opinion. There should be no election. Trump and his whole administration should be uh, fired and thrown out. Because they failed the American people. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. The uh, Again, the government... Under Trump failed the American people. He's to blame for there not being any fans at WrestleMania. He's to blame. Don't blame Vince. He didn't. Vince is in president. Trump is to blame for the virus getting to America. In my opinion, don't like that. I don't care. It what I don't care what you like. Those are my views, and I'm sticking to them. And I'll go to my grave, hopefully not anytime soon from getting the virus, but uh, I'll go to my grave believing that Trump and his administration failed the American people, dropped the ball with the virus, and didn't catch it way, way, way sooner and be ready for it. There, I'm done talking about politics and my views. Anyways, uh, WrestleMania 36, Ghosted Mania, I'm going to be watching Saturday and Sunday. When it is put on the network, I'll be watching live. I'll be tweeting it. Of course, it's taped. I don't care. I'm still watching. And don't spoil WrestleMania for anybody else. I don't want to see any spoilers in the comments. I don't want to get any spoilers on Twitter. If you do, I'll block you. So, uh, bye for now, everybody.